Hello fellow cozy artists, my nickname is Ray Claire. Welcome back to my channel. Feel free to grab your coffee or tea and enjoy the vlog. The coffee that you see me making in the video is a Japanese brand. I don't know the name, but it was given to us as a gift and I just wanted to show it to you because it comes with this really cool um, little bag with all the coffee grounds in it. I keep hot water or boiled water in a thermos just so that we don't have to constantly be boiling water whenever we want a hot drink. I learned to do that from my mom. How have you all been doing? Currently, it is winter where we live, um, so it's been cold and raining. Sometimes I'll have my coffee black, but today I felt like having condensed milk in it. I never used to put condensed milk in my coffee before, but uh, when we tried it at a Vietnamese restaurant, I really enjoyed it. So that's just what you see me doing right now. In this video, we're going to be discussing one of the Instagram art challenges I participated in a couple of months ago. And it was the 100 Days Challenge by Kesh. So let's get into that now. So the idea of the 100 day challenge was to draw every day for 100 days and he also gave 100 prompts but he also said in the rules that we could draw whatever we wanted to so I ended up choosing Animal Crossing characters because I wanted something that was relatively easy to draw because I would be having to draw so many illustrations and also during the pandemic like many people my husband and I got into playing Animal Crossing so yeah I just wanted to draw some of the characters that we liked as you could tell from the thumbnail and from the title of this video I was not able to complete all 100. I I got burnt out after 24, but I still kept going and I completed 58 of the Animal Crossing characters that I had on my list. And 58 isn't bad. I was happy that I was able to do that many, especially since I haven't ever done 58 illustrations all at once before. Um, I'm still thinking of maybe later on finishing the rest of the list, but for now I needed a break because it was a lot. I'll be sharing a few lessons that I personally learned while doing the 100 days challenge. Um, if you do something long enough, it becomes a habit. And I knew this for other things in life that I do, but I never treated art like that. Art was just a hobby, something to do in my spare time. But as I got older, having spare time got more and more rare. So scheduling in a little bit of each day, or most days of the week to practice, was not only doable, but fun and it, it was nice that I could consistently make art. Another benefit to this challenge that I learned was on days when I was stressed out from other things, I actually looked forward to doing my art that day. It was like a little treat uh, for myself, like when I redo my nails or give myself a facial. 
it felt like I was pampering my creative self. So that was fun. Thirdly, I learned not to rely on likes from social media. This was another thing that I had known before, but it was further impressed upon me in this challenge. I was making more art continually, posting constantly, and improving my skills little by little, but getting less and less likes and followers. So even though I would keep posting, I made the art for me, not for anyone else. At the beginning of the challenge, I set out to try something I've never done before, and drawing a hundred illustrations was really daunting, but also exciting. And I kept thinking, if I post more, I'll hopefully be able to get more followers and subscribers on my accounts, both YouTube and Instagram, but it didn't end up happening that way. I got a few more interactions at times, but many days the numbers kept dwindling down. So I had to refocus on my goal to complete the challenge for me. This was to improve my skills as an artist and to help me. It was not to gain popularity. And ultimately that is what my whole goal is. To get back into art, to make mistakes and learn from them, and yes, I do want to build a cozy art community on the way, but at the heart of it, I'm the one that needs to learn and grow my art skills. If possible, I would like to inspire others to get back into art again as well. And then, in this way, we could improve our art skills together. Another thing that I learned, I also noticed that the more practice I did, I was getting faster with my techniques. It was easier to learn shading, creating shapes that I wanted, and before I found it really difficult to do digital art. I've never been really good at doing digital art. I'm more used to doing traditional art, sketching, painting. So this was another part of the challenge that was really daunting. And I did take advantage of the app's ability to edit my shapes in Procreate. Um, so that did help, but it all the practice did help me to get better. I still may not be as good or as skilled as other digital artists, but for me this was a pretty big step and I was happy with the illustrations that I was able to make. Another lesson that I learned was from another YouTube artist. Unfortunately, I don't remember her name and I am not able to find the video that I had watched by her, um, but she had mentioned that not every illustration you do will be perfect, even with practice. Progress isn't linear. There are days when it will come out looking better and other days not so great. But you need to keep practicing to keep making progress. And personally, I definitely noticed that. Some days I was motivated to draw more. Other days I had less time or I was tired, so I took a much needed break. I didn't want to kill my creativity by pushing myself. And this was a big challenge that I was taking on for the first time. Yes, eventually I did burn out but still really happy with all the progress that I did make. And I may have failed at completing 100 illustrations for the first time, but like I've been saying, I was able to successfully complete 58 illustrations in succession for the first time. 
And for someone who has never done this challenge before, I think that's a pretty good win for now. Like I have mentioned in the beginning, I am still thinking of completing the list uh, eventually. For now, I'm taking a break. For me, this was a win. And I want to look for the small wins and not at all the failed attempts. I'm still grateful for the opportunity that this challenge gave me. I did improve my digital art skills significantly and I plan to improve more and more as time goes by. So thank you to Kesh for um, this challenge. I had fun attempting it. Out of curiosity, how many of you have participated in any art challenges? Please share your stories down below in the comment section. Also another thing, how many of you are Animal Crossing fans? And if so, you can also share that in the comment section. You can share which ones are your favorite. In the beginning of this video, I showcase the villagers that we had or have currently on our island. I say had because some of them we did end up dismissing and then some we still have on our island because you're only allowed to have 10 unfortunately. I also showcase some of our dreamies that we wish that we had on our island. Um, like Ioni and Lily and Lolly and Maple, but we were still able to manage to get them in the DLC in Happy Home Paradise, so that was nice. And of course, I also illustrated the resident services characters like Tom Nook, Timmy and Tommy, Isabel. Um, I cheated a little bit uh, after I had finished illustrating Tom Nook. I sized him down and I did, I drew Timmy and then I copy pasted that and did Tommy. And I kind of did that with uh, Wilbur and Orville as well, and also KK Slider and DJ KK, just because it was easier to do it that way. When I had to do two characters in the same illustration, it was really hard. And of course, that was not part of the challenge but that is something that I took on just because I have a tendency to be overly ambitious at times and that's true of all my projects and all the things that I want to do I end up getting so many ideas at the beginning and then as I start to do the task, I end up realizing that I took on too much and I put too much on my plate. So I'm learning to slowly be better at that. Later on in the video, you'll also see that I drew some of the visitors that come to the island. Like I said earlier, KK Slider and then DJ KK is from the DLC, of course. Um, and also, I drew some characters from Harv's Island, and that is where I stopped. 
My last illustration was Harriet. And if I start to draw again, my first illustration will be Pascal. When my husband and I were going through the list of all 400 characters in Animal Crossing, um, we got to see characters from older games um, just because we ourselves have only gotten into the latest one, New Horizons. So we, when we were looking up the older games, we got to see like Isabel's brother Digby and Flick's dad and all of the old characters. So it was fun seeing how they were related to the new characters. So here you're gonna see that I sized down Tom Nook and turned it into Timmy and then copy pasted it into Tommy. I would like to know how many of you are more comfortable doing digital art and how many of you prefer traditional art? Growing up, digital art was mostly done on old PCs with a mouse and so that's I guess part of the reason why I was more comfortable doing traditional art. I am a more tactile person. I prefer like tangible things. For example, I like reading physical books more than digital reading. I don't know, I like feeling the pages and yeah, I guess that's how I was with traditional art as well. I like holding a paintbrush or holding a pen or a pencil. It just seems easier. So when my husband and I got married, and he is really good at digital art, also traditional art, but um, I got to use the Apple Pen for the first time, and I got to use Procreate, and I was amazed. This was light years in advance compared to the mouse that I had to use on my old PC before. So this this was a fun challenge to participate in because of that. And I always admired people who did deviant art back in the day because they could create amazing things just with the mouse. So maybe it's just me <laughs> lacking in uh, digital art skills. <laughs> As you're going to notice from this video onwards, I will be doing more voiceovers as opposed to my earlier videos which were just music and text on the, on the video. And like I will mention in another video, this is because it helps the channel be more personable and Hopefully this will help uh, with engagement in making this cozy art community. So please let me know what you think if you prefer having the voiceovers or if you just prefer music and text on the screen. For me, I will admit, I do not like the sound of my voice. I sound like a child, even though I am, I will admit I am in my 30s. <laughs> but yeah, I sound awkward.
Another thing I'd like to share with you all is I have a website, rayclairedemoon.com, and on it I have started an art blog, and I will be sharing more of my art journey there as well, and I will be leaving the link in the description. Another note, I did used to have an Instagram, and uh, because of the stress from this challenge and all the things that happened, or I guess didn't happen, I ended up deleting my Instagram account just because constantly posting, it, it was, it didn't lend anything to my creativity. It felt like I was on a hamster wheel having to constantly generate content and yes, I did enjoy the art challenges, but I didn't like that I became so reliant on other people's likes to make me feel good about the art that I created. So I did end up deleting my Instagram account after, after, I, I can't remember which um, Animal Crossing character was the last one that I posted on there, but yeah, I don't have an Instagram account anymore. Maybe in the far future, I may uh, open up another Instagram account for my art and my small business, but for now, I am perfectly content just being on YouTube and having my website. That is all that I can manage for now, and I'm happy with that. I will be trying to post videos more regularly, and so please stay tuned for that. I have more long-form videos coming up. Some of them are still relatively short. Um, I won't be doing as many shorts since I have finished with the challenge, because during the challenge I was doing a lot of shorts, but yeah, now I'll be doing more long form videos. And here are all 58 of the illustrations that I got to do. it for now. Take care everyone. See you next time.